was shocked to meet a slasher. Um, I've never had any type of film experience. This is my first time, but I do love to act. I do like to do little small plays and things like that. And this was the opportunity for me to just try something new and different and see what it's like and see what, uh, get a taste of on-camera experiences are like. And when uh, Jonathan asked me to be a part, I was just elated and I couldn't say no, honestly. Who doesn't love a good horror movie and good storyline? Um, but what attracted me was that it was written in such a way that it was so relatable and it was very suspenseful when I was reading the script. When I got it emailed to me early on, I was like, oh my goodness, this is really scary. Like, I'm kind of scared of it and I'm a part of it. No, I wanted to be involved on this because I enjoy the uh, horror and slasher genre. Uh, plus, Jonathan's a nice guy and all, so uh, he asked me to be involved, so I showed up. What attracted me to slashers, I never did a horror film before, so I thought that, you know, it would be something different and something that I can uh, basically just put my talents to and see if I can do it, basically. Slasher was very interesting. It was, um, it was a great experience, first and foremost. I had, it was something I've never experienced before, so I wasn't quite sure how it was going to go. Um, there was a lot of good moments, there were some long days, some, uh, you know, jokes sometimes where we all just were burnt out, but um, I felt like sla the, my, my overall experience was great. My experience on the set of Slasher was very interesting um, because it was my first time being in a horror film, um, so it was a whole new experience to begin with, but it actually taught me a lot about improvisation as well as working on my memory as far as pairing my improv with stuff that's already written on the script. So it's actually given me a lot of more skills to hopefully um, use towards future film projects that I'd like to pursue. Getting into the character um, at times was a bit of an adjustment to kind of sink in, to really relax and be comfortable with working with other actors. Um, that was a bit of a challenge. Um, LaToya is the new girl at Fresh Air Productions. She doesn't really know what she, what's going on or you know what types of mysteries or things have happened in the past. Melissa Evans is a character, a movie within herself. <laughs> she is a ball of fun, yet she's very sassy, um, very corporate, and um, a balls to the wall type of woman. She likes to get her work done, and she doesn't take any from any anyone. <laughs> Sierra Summers is a character that um, unexpectedly gives you that ball of energy. She tries to find every outlet to get away from the killer. My character is uh, a little bit of a crazy person. Uh, my role is to be that weird person that works in every building. Janet's character in the film is probably one of the most unique, hated, and possibly loved. <laughs> um, her character is very complex because there's so many different layers within her personality. You don't really know whether to feel sorry for her or to hate her or to do both. Um, she's the CEO of Fresh Air Productions and she has her ways of getting to being CEO, which I'm not going to reveal. But um, she has her wits about her. She's a little manipulative, a little sneaky, but she's a real hard worker and she's um, just really going to not going to let anything stop her from getting what she wants. I play Miguel and he show he is one of the co-workers at Fresh Air Productions. He shows up to work like every other day and that's when things start going crazy. The viewer can expect some funny parts mixed in with some really dramatic parts and just some parts that make you be like, "What? Why why would that happen? Why would that person do that?" and stuff like that. So there's a lot of mysterious stuff happening, a lot of suspense. The viewer can expect uh, just like a classic slasher movie. Um, it's going to be entertaining. You're probably going to get mad at certain characters here and there. And I'm sure you're going to jump at certain points because that's just the way, way horror films go. Uh, this one is no different. So just be ready to be entertained, be ready to be scared, uh, be ready to laugh. has a mixture of everything. Hopefully the viewer can expect fear. <laughs> I hope that we accomplish somehow of making the film actually um, scary for people. The viewer can expect great quality horror 
from this film. Um, I really enjoy the fact that Mr. Rowan placed um, all of those great elements back into what it is that we don't see commonly in horror. Now it's just, you know, slash green blood, you know, but in this, you know, you, you get those moments that really build that suspense and give you that chill, you know, right at the edge of your, of your arm, you know, and your, your, um, your arm hair. <laughs> The viewers can expect something that's um, that's never been done before. It's very mysterious, and they can expect a lot of great talent being showcased from this film. At nighttime, I mean, believe it or not, like it's crazy because like you hear like freaky noises, like it's like maybe voices, and maybe it was just me. I was hearing voices. The elevators come randomly on. It's like generators. All that just creeps you out. <laughs> I think they'll enjoy the story. Um, I, it was well thought out, well written. I had suspense added in. I have red herrings here and there. You don't know who's the killer. You get so confused. It bothers you. and You're just on the edge of your seat wondering who is the killer, what is going on, and what is the resolution of this film. Yeah, I'd definitely do another horror movie again. Um, judging on how this went, it takes time, and it takes... I feel like horror might be one of the hardest movies to do just because it's a, you have to actually bring in a lot of emotion in your shots and um, especially when it comes to killing and dying, you can't let it look fake. And once it looks fake, the movie looks corny. So it's very hard and there's people who've been acting for years who can't get into horror movies because they don't know how to bring the emotional appeal to that point. I would definitely consider more horror movies. I love it. Like it's just so much fun. Like I, I always, it's so weird because I was I would always come to set thinking, oh, do I get to die? Am I dying? Will I die in this film? Like, you know, how am I going to die if I die at all? You know, like, how do I, am I going to be bloody? That's what, one of my first thoughts when I got signed on to this film. I was like, ooh, I wonder how I'm going to die if I die, you know? How long am I going to make it? How, are they going to make me bloody? Do I get to split blood? Do I got to run? Do I scream? You know, uh, yeah, definitely. I love it because it's so exciting. You know what I mean? And then it's just, you get used to people saying like, oh yeah, so-and-so dies today. Oh, okay, they about to die? Okay, I'm gonna watch them die. And it just becomes normal. <laughs> Be very afraid. And yes, it was extremely cliche, but just expect the unexpected when watching Slasher, because there's twists and turns and you really don't know who's who. It's just, you can't trust anybody anymore. And you just get caught up and just like, okay, so she's the boss, but why does she go and why is she running? And she's disappearing a lot or they're coworkers. Why do they keep, you know, just coming in and out? And I haven't seen them in about five minutes. Like what's going on? And it's just all that's going on. So just expect the unexpected and you will be afraid. I would definitely say the killer. I think my first suspicion would be Janet. Oh, I think the killer is Sasha. Okay. Instantly. <laughs> the janitor is just a really creepy character addition to the, you know, added to Slasher. You don't know what he's doing. He pops up here and there. And, you know, you're just like, hey, is that a killer or is he a red herring? I have no idea. No idea. It might be me. Who do I think the killer is? You have to wait to find out who's the killer. You have to watch the movie to know who the killer is.